In this tutorial, we're going to go over creating a um, one of the option field types, which an option field type is going to be uh, either a drop down, a radio button, or a multi select. And what that is is because I'll show you right here. So if you select drop down, you'll notice another tab shows up here where we can add options. Um, this is where you can kind of add your own stuff and go like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and set up in our meta key here. I'm going to do this one. It's going to be job benefits. So job benefits. And then we'll start with a drop down and I'll go back and change it to these different field types and show you how each one works. So the drop down, we're going to go here and then we'll put um, benefits. And then please select the benefits associated with this job. And then I'm going to put this at 1 just so it shows up high um, in the listing. And we'll go to advance or no advanced options. And so, like I said, you'll see this options tab. So what we're going to do, want to do, since we're doing a drop down here, first one we're going to go here, we're going to click on add another. And for our first one, what I'm going to do, this first one I'm going to set as both default and disabled. When you set an option as default and disabled for a drop down, what that does is that essentially sets it as the placeholder. So when you go to the listing page, you're going to see it's going to say, you know, select a drop down or select a value, whatever you put in here um, when you enter it in. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, a benefit. Now, if you don't put in a label, the label is just going to be whatever the value is. So the label is optional. Um, the value is what is going to be um, actually saved or shown. So let's go ahead and add the other one. So here I'm going to put the value is going to be, um, you know, 401k. And then over here I'm going to put 401. And I'm going to put a space between it just to kind of give you an idea. So what this does is when this is saved to the listing and when it gets output on the front end of the site, the value is what actually gets saved. The label is what is actually shown. Now I did add a feature into the plugin in the, one of the latest releases that allows you to output the label instead of the value. And if you go back and look at the tutorial for the field editor settings, you'll see where I go through that. Uh, so moving forward, let's go ahead and add some more. So we'll do 401k, uh, we'll do, um, so for benefits, I think 401k, and then we have, um, you know, free lunch. Like I said, again, you don't have to put in a label because if there is no label, it will use the actual value. So we'll do for that, and then uh, let's go ahead and put one and put none. So let's go ahead and add that field. Okay, now we've got our job benefits right here. So let's go back. Let's go back and look at that one. So now you'll see we have all of our all of our benefits here. And if I wanted to move around and say I wanted to put uh, free lunch, or actually we'll put none. I want to put that at the top of the list. All you got to do is click on this little handle right here and drag and drop. That's all you got to do. Uh, go ahead and click Save Field. And now let's go to the front end of the site. So let's go ahead and go back to Post a Job. Now you'll notice, see here, Benefits. Now you notice how the first option here, Select a Benefit. If you remember, or if you recall, when we set it up, come in here, Options, Select a Benefit. Because this is set as the default option to select, and it's set as Disabled, that's going to set that as the, that placeholder value. Now, if I wanted to have um, just to have one of these other ones selected as the default option, I could select that. But what's going to happen is essentially when you do that, you notice it unselects that. And then this is going to be a disabled option, but it's not going to be selected option. So when we load the page, it would actually load it as default as this. So if you want it to actually show, just select, you know, select the benefit or whatever you put, you know, make sure you put that, that first option as default and disabled. So you see here, and now we've got all the different options that we have right here. You know, notice we've got that space between the 401 and the K, free lunch, whatever it is. And that's how you set up a drop down. So let's go ahead and let's switch this to a uh, radio buttons. Now we'll go over to radio buttons, go back to options. Now we're gonna have to enter them again because whenever you do that, it actually clears them out. So let's go ahead and put another radio button in here and we'll do uh, 401K. Add another one, and we'll do free lunch. We'll do another one, and we'll do none. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back here. Let's go to post a job. 
Now you'll notice, you see here, we've got our radio buttons. And you'll only be able to select one radio button. Multiple radio buttons cannot be selected at once. Uh, and you'll notice this little X shows up here, which you can use to clear it if you want it on there. And so that's how the radio buttons actually end up coming out. If you wanted to select the default one, um, you could select one of these. And then when the, the page loads, it'll automatically have that value selected. It's totally up to you. So let's go back to this and let's go ahead and change this to a multi-select. Change to multi-select, go back to our options. Again, we're going to have to add them in again. So let's go ahead and do uh, 401k. We'll do free lunch. And then we'll do none. Well, actually, since this is a multi-select, technically, None, I mean, in this instance, wouldn't be, you know, we wouldn't use this in this one. So we'll, we'll say, um, let's do free lunch, um, let's do overtime available. Save that field. Let's go back to the job listing. Let's do it again. Now you'll notice on here, we can have this. Now we've got these multi selects. So now you can actually select multiple values. This allows you, setting it as a multi-select allows you to ch choose multiple values that can be selected. So that's how the option fields work. Um, I will be doing a lot more tutorials on these, on the actual, the other different field types. So make sure and check out um, the different tutorials I've got available. Uh, subscribe and let me know if you guys have any questions. See you on the next one.